Assalamu alaikum. My name is Faizal Abdul and I am a seventh semester student. I will be presenting my research article titled Power of Sepsis Meet CMG Detecting ALS and Myopathy. This article was published at ICO DT2 conference. The co authors are Engineer Muhammad Umar Khan, Dr. Muhammad Faraz, Dr. Sayyid Zuhayb Hassan Atwi, Engineer Sumair Aziz, and Gabriel Axel Montes. Let's take a brief overview of the key section we will be covering in this presentation. We will begin by introducing the topic and establishing its context within our research, emphasizing its importance. Next, we will present the specific problem our research addresses. Following that, we will have a look at existing literature. Then I will explain the methodology employed in our research. I will then present the research finding and result and discussion section. Finally, we will wrap up this presentation with a conclusion. First comes the introduction. Let's first discuss what, what are neuromuscular diseases. Neuromuscular diseases, NMDs, include a wide range of condition affecting the nerves responsible for controlling voluntary muscle movement. When, when neurons become damaged, the nervous system struggles to transmit signals to the muscle, resulting in muscle weakness, a common symptom of NMDs. Electromyography EMG play a crucial role in understanding both normal and pathological muscle activities. While MRI magnetic resonance imaging has been used in past, it, but it lacks the ability to assess the real-time muscle functioning and often focuses on structural aspect. In contrast, EMG is a non-invasive and directly evaluates the muscle and nerve functional uh, functions, making it a preferred choice for NMD diagnosis. Now let's discuss some compelling statistics regarding neuromuscular diseases as provided by National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. First, it's, it's important to note it's important to note that 20 to 40 percent of the affected individuals fall in one of the subcategories of ALS. This highlights the significant diversity within the ALS spectrum. Additionally, the prevalence rate of ALS has been reported to range between 4.1 to 4.1 and 8.4 cases per 100,000 individuals. This prevalence rate underscores the importance of early detection and effective diagnostic method for NMDs. Next come our problem statement. Our problem statement addresses an issue in the field of uh, neuromuscular diseases, including conditions like ALS myopathy and normal muscle function. Currently, the diagnosis of these conditions is both complex and less efficient. This, this proposed solution is to create a simple and effective classification system for EMG using EMG signals. The system aims to streamline the diagnostic process for healthcare professionals and enable early diagnosis and continuous monitoring of NMD patients. Next come the literature review. In our comprehensive literature review, we, are discussed, uh, we have discussed several studies utilizing EMG lab data set to develop classification system for NMDs. As you can see that the uh, existing literature lacks in accuracy, therefore our system aims to establish a more, uh, more simple and accurate classification system for diagnosis of NMDs. Next come our methodology. Our methodology for NMD classification comprises of three key main stages which include pre-processing, feature extraction, and classification. We will begin by pre-processing EMG signal using a fourth order elliptic bandpass elliptic filter uh, with a cutoff frequency of 20 to 10 kilohertz. Then we divided the signals into non-overlapping segments of one second for target analysis. Feature extraction involved in uh, calculating the MFCC and GTCC. And finally, the extracted feature matrix is trained on multiple classifier at classification stage. Now, let's uh, uh, now next uh, uh, comes an overview of the data set used in our study. The data set was obtained from EMG lab and comprises of total 25 subjects. Out of 25, out of these 25 subjects, 10 are classified as normal, and their data set include 107 records. Seven subjects are classified as myopathic, and they too have 107 records in the data set. Eight subjects fall under the ALS category, and their data set comprises of 100 records. In total, we work with 314 recordings from these diverse subject groups. 
to gather the data uh, the ne needle emg approach was, em uh, was employed which allowed to focus on specific observation point within the subject bodies the observation points include the branchiae bicep vastus and anterior muscle the recording was conducted with a high sampling rate of 23438 hertz ensuring that we captured the fine grain detail in the muscle in the signals each recording had a duration of 11.1841 seconds allowing to analyze a significant portion of the muscle activity next comes the pre processing stage that we uh, that were applied to emg uh, signals in order to prepare them for further analysis first the emg signal was segmented into non overlapping one second windows the segmentation allow us to expand our sample size and obtain a more detail uh, more detailed view of data in total we performed segmentation of 314 original recordings of 11 second resulting in total of 3454 individual signals of one second duration for further analysis to ensure the quality and reliability of our data a fourth order elliptic band pass filter was applied this filter had a frequency range of 20 hertz to 10 kilohertz its primary purpose was to eliminate any motion artifacts that might have contaminated our signals by do doing so we enhanced the accuracy of our data making it more suitable for subsequent analysis Uh, let's uh, discuss the feature extraction stage feature extraction is a fundamental technique uh, technique utilized to extract essential information from the signals particularly for the purpose of classification in our research we place a particular emphasis on spectral features as they play a critical role in capturing details about muscle activity features including the standard deviation and mean of mal frequency substrate coefficients mfccs and gamma ton substrate coefficients gtccs were extracted from emg signals these features uh, are instrumented in characterizing and quantifying the distinct, uh, distinct aspect of muscle activity now let's discuss what are mfccs and gtccs as the block diagram shows the extraction involves several steps including Windowing. The EMG signal is segmented into short overlapping frame, with each frame representing a discrete segment of signal. Next comes the DFT, discrete Fourier, Fourier transform calculation stage. Within each frame, the DFT is applied to transform EMG signal from time domain to frequency domain. Next comes the spectral calculation stage. The power spectrum is derived by uh, by scaling the magnitude of complex DFT coefficients, depicting the energy distribution across different frequencies. Next, the mal frequency wrapping stage. Adapting from audio analysis, we apply a mal filter bank to the power spectrum, emphasizing the relevant frequencies in EMG analysis. Next, comes the logarithmic compression. Logarithm of filter bank outputs are computed, compressing the spectral dynamic range to align with human perceptual non-linearity. Next, comes the DCT, discrete cosine transform calculation. The DCT coefficients are extracted from log. filter bank output capturing the key spectral characteristic within each frame next comes the uh, last stage mfcc calculation the a subset of dcd coefficient is chosen to form the mfcc for each frame representing its spectral attributes for further analysis gtcc is much like mfcc however it diverges by replacing the mal filter bank with a gamma ton filter bank Next comes the classification stage. To classify the NMDs, we uh, we train various classifiers using tenfold cross validation, including sport vector mach machine, SVM ensemble, neural networks, and more. Remarkably, the K nearest neighbor KNN classifier emerged as the most effective, achieving an accuracy of 98.7 percent. The KNN's non-parametric and distance-based based approach and adaptability to complex data distribution made it optimal choice for our classification of nmds next come the result and discussion section now let's uh, shift our focus to the evaluation of our proposed methods performance to assess the effectiveness of our approach we conducted a comparative comparison between various classifiers these classifiers was uh, were provided with a input matrix of uh, 3453 by 54 Our evaluation process yielded a compelling result, illustrated by as illustrated by the graph. 
it clearly demonstrates the key, key that the key nearest neighbor can and classify outperform the other classifier, achieving the impressive accuracy of 98.7%. In the result and discussion section, we have also presented our finding through confusion matrix. For ALS, our model achieved an impressive accuracy of 98.9%. When it come to predicting healthy subjects, our accuracy was even higher, 99%. My and myopathy prediction accuracy stood 98.3%. This outcome highlights the efficiency of our proposed system. Next, we have also done comparison with previous works. In turn, MFCC and GTCC feature were accepted, and CNN classifier achieved an accuracy of 91.1%. In 11 time domain and frequency domain feature were accepted and KNN classified and achieved an accuracy of 97%. In 12 statistical feature were accepted and KNN classified and achieve, achieved an accuracy of 92.3%. In 13 time domain and frequency domain feature were accepted along with ANN classified and achieved an accuracy of 97.22%. In this work, we have extracted mean and uh, standard deviation of MFCC and GTCC features along with KNN classifier and achieve an accuracy of 98.7%. Next come the conclusion. In conclusion, our research showcases the power of sepsal domain features and the KNN classifier for precise NMD classification using EMD signals. The methods high accuracy and real world applicability mark as a significant advancement in the field of neuromuscular diseases. In future, the proposed model can be applied to a large and more balanced data set in order to validate the accuracy of the model and to be used in clinical applications. These are the references used in this presentation. Thank you.